Hello. Is this thing on? Okay. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I tried to do these yesterday and it was a mess. It, it was not working. So um, I figured I'd try it again today and see how it goes. But I just wanted to do a quick check-in for March because there's a lot of stuff happening out in the cosmos in March. Even if you don't, you know, like follow your own astrology that closely, it's still happening, right? And this video is not to necessarily go over that in great detail, but rather to check in on the vibe with the tarot. So I just wanted them to be quick and to the point. So um, just as a quick rundown, March 7th, Saturn moves into Pi Pisces. And um, March 20th, the sun goes into Aries. So technically, that's an astrological new year. Um, March 23rd, Pluto goes into Aquarius. And March 25th, Mars goes into Cancer. So those are the big things happening. I'm going to pull um, the order out of the bowl like I did for the extended readings that I just posted not too long ago. And let's get into it. Okay, let's see who's next. Scorpio. Let's do it. Um, I wanted these to be short and sweet, so we're just looking for one, maybe two cards. A little bit of an explosion going on here. Cards. Let's see. Some of that is operator error. Let's see. For Scorpio. That is way too many. Here we go. We have the Two of Cups, the King of Pentacles, <laughs> and the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. I mean, if you're looking for a partnership, then that's definitely something that's coming up for you as far as a relationship goes. Um, because the Two of Cups talks about shared values. This is, you know, both people um, coming into union with their own full cups. So, you know, it's like what you're getting, you are also um, giving. And it's like both people have the capacity to do that because both of their cups are already full. So it's not, you know, 90-10. 40, 60, nothing like that. And then with the King of Pentacles, this is definitely some sort of physical attraction. Um, I mean, this could be you, this could be the person that you are attracting. The King of Pentacles is the highest expression of this suit, right? So, I mean, this could be somebody who is highly successful um, in a leadership role. This could even be somebody who... Um, like they're gonna have enough to take care of you and them, maybe even a family. But again, you know, like this would be something, it's like you're going to feel that physical attraction first. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So there's definitely some sort of offer coming in here. Now, if you're not looking for a relationship, this could be a job. This could be finding something that aligns with you and it could even be meeting somebody like this could be a recruiter. This could even be um, somebody like through networking that you meet or this person. I mean, obviously it could be either one of these people, um, but it's like you could either be trying to find a leadership role. This could even be some sort of promotion here. But again, right, like with it being the king of pentacles, like it's like you know, raining money, basically, which is awesome. And then with the Knight of Cups, this is an offer of an opportunity. And with it being a cup, it's something that you're going to feel good about. 
and then the three of cups celebration from other people this is like finding the right you know like having the support from those around you so if it is a job it's like you know there's um people could be putting in a good word for you I love that. I'm going to leave it there. Bye.